Hey everybody, Captain Gabtron here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly 2, and let's get started with episode 6, He Who Tames the Iron Horse. So exciting, guys. So exciting. My favorite level. Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the Claw Gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. True that, Sly. True that. Alrighty. Ooh, so excited, guys. So excited. He who tames the iron horse. Ugh. Excuse me. Huh. <clears throat> All right, guys. I'm ready for this. Super, super exciting stuff. What kind of new update upgrades do we have to get? Hover pack. Ooh, the hover pack. That is so... I'm going to buy that right now. Silent obliteration. Oh, shoot. We need a lot of dough here, man. I might go back to the contestants and get that... Excuse me. Yeah, this guy's got loot. I'm going to hit everybody I see here for the next couple episodes. Because we've got a lot of money to make in a little bit of time. And this is where I might actually have to start... Hey, Ruby, I might actually have to start getting... Uh, whatchamacallit? Getting... Uh, Pickpocketing people off the... You know, off the recording. You know, on the side. Off screen, there we go, off camera. Alright, where are we supposed to go? For this be my favorite level. I can't remember where it is. All right. Okay. Here, when we're doing this, uh, this isn't really reconnaissance work. But when we're doing going into these cabins here, there are important phone conversations going on, and I'm gonna have to. Oh, that's not the one I'm supposed to go. Oh, I'm supposed to go over here. Okay. Oh, I remember why too. That's right. Okie dokie, here we go. Talk away, Bentley. That cabin may seem rustic, but don't be fooled. It's the control center for Jean Bizon's trade empire. Sneak inside and raid his files. You're sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall? That'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bizon took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. All right, so... Yeah, this is... So you can go different ways and kind of... Ooh, totally went the wrong way just to see how... Is this okay, Mommy? The words of Nintendo Capri Sun. Alright, let's go over here. But yeah, important phone conversations. I'm going to do very little talking so y'all can hear what they're talking about. Well, go in there, Sly. Jackpot, Sly. That's Jean Bisson. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello, I'll pay 
Arpeggio here. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, chum, always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second, when are you gonna give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. Be song, you covetous troglodyte. You've already got the lion's share of the parts. Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own and strip me of all my earthly pleasures? Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why, I put three of them in the engines of my best trains. With those robotic doohickeys feeding the fire, them trains will run all night and all day. I call them my iron horses. Of course, I gotta keep the plans hidden. Stuffed them in my three trophy bass. Sounds like you're making capital use of your share of the robotic loot. But for now, the clockwork brain stays with me on the blimp. Okay, I think we've heard enough. So, <laughs> here's some interesting stuff there, but the only reason I say we heard enough is because my headset went out on me. Alright, I don't know what they're saying anymore. I don't know if Bentley's talking. Ooh, shoot. Where are the other two pictures? Oh, they're, of course, they're on the far side. But yeah, that's an interesting conversation he was having with Arpeggio there. And if you remember Arpeggio, we first seen him at Rajan's palace during the ball. Oh, we gotta go over there for that one. Go figure, man. I don't. Oh crap! I didn't want to get down here. Yeah, yeah. Chance of Bassan seeing me. I guess I'll be seeing you at the end of the week. Right. Farewell, Bassan. Stiff up a lip. Okay. Well, he's over there. I'm gonna run over here. Hopefully, he doesn't see me. All right, here we go. Or you don't? Hey, hold on a second. All right. Oh, I guess I took a picture of that one. Oh yeah, it's this one I did take a picture of. All right. There we go. That is a very nice bass. There we go. Excellent. Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. Okay, well I'm glad we st ooh, we stuck around for that phone conversation because I've always kind of sat here and listened to him before I did the mission. I mean, I hope y'all don't mind. I mean, I don't imagine you do. I imagine y'all might be quite interested in what they're saying. In fact, I'm surprised they don't. The game doesn't make you listen to it. Yeah, go figure, Bentley. All right, well, I'm just gonna keep running. These uh, trains, all all the tracks lead to and from cabins, so we're close by anyway. How am I gonna get up there? This way. Okay. I don't remember if there's phone any phone conversations in the rest of these. You do have to watch out for being hit by the train, because I'm pretty sure it'll kill you on contact. Uh, let's keep going up here, because I'll be able to climb up there a little bit easier. Okay, that's where I'm going. Alright. I saw a bottle down there. Ooh, that's a train going by. It almost got me. Uh, loot. Good. We're gonna, we're gonna do a loot episode of me just getting loot. Okay, because I'm going to need it to get items in this level and the next. There's two more yeah, levels after like this one. Get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints. Okay. Attention all cabin guards. I've heard tell from the boys at Ponderosa Cabin there's someone been in my hidden blueprints. Everyone stay sharp. This ain't no summer camp. Sorry, guys. I was listening to what John Basson was saying. Go down, one to go. Ooh, shoot. Okay, one to go. However, 
some of these guys got loot here. And I am very, 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 uh, very much so wanting to get all that loot that they got. Ooh, crap. Okay, you can break the bottles. I'm, how do they put bottles up here, man? Alright, see, so he's coming here. I want to grab this loot, because this will be some good loot here. Ooh, shoot, I almost ran into his butt. A medium nugget? Okay, that's not bad. Gold nuggets and all. Okay, let's get out of here before they notice me. Alright. I love this music. When you're inside the cabins, I love it. I mean, I'm from the south. I'm from south Texas. I know I live in Tulsa right now. But I'm from south, south of Texas, man. San Antonio area. So, there's actually a little town in Center Point, if anybody's heard of it, you know. Most people around here haven't. You know, they don't hear Center Point, so I just tell them I'm from San Antonio because everybody knows where San Antonio is. You know, but it's just 40 miles west of San Antonio. Alright, the next one is way over yonder, okay? Yonder, there we go. I should start using some real southern talk, man. No, really, I don't do as much chick talking as I used to. Quite simply because a lot of people... <laughs> cracks me up here. How many people don't know all the southern idioms and... Um, figures of speech around here, you know? Like, one thing that I said here, and it really freaked my girlfriend out. She didn't know what it was, was... She was doing something. I think she was cooking. I'm like, well, how much? Because I asked her to watch a movie or something. I'm like, how much you like? You know, how much you like? It means how much you have left. Oh God, that's probably why I love this level. Simply because of the fact that. Oh God, I threw him down there on the floor. It's because of that southern twang that it's got, you know? Ooh, I like it. It's, it's good stuff. There we go. Uh, excuse me. Oh, and John Masson's safe isn't here. Hopefully, I'd be able to remember that. Okay, they see me. Run, Sly, run! Uh, you would think they'd follow me out the door. Uh, go figure, they don't. Alright. Ooh, guys, I'm so excited. Armed with all three blueprints, we should be able to isolate and track the Iron Horse trains through that satellite dish. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. Okay, let's go do it. Can we get a ride? That's what I love. Another thing I love about this level, you can go get a ride from all the trains here. And I think I'm just going to ride this all the way through. Hey, look, bottle! Okay. I can make a mental note of where all the bottles are. That'd be great, but I know I really can't do that. Can we hop up there? Ah, shoot. Yeah, we can go right over here. Ooh, can I grab on? Can I grab on? Ah, no, not quite in time, dude. But this will take us right up beside the mountain. I mean, can't get much closer than this. Okay. There we go. All right, let's get up the mountain here. Ooh, um, ooh, my bombs. Oh, that's not my bombs, wrong button. Well, he'll stop there, that'll give me a time to... <laughs> ooh, 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 he's almost got me, he's almost there. I don't know where he's running off to. Where's he going? very curious to follow him to see what he's doing. Oh well. What? Uh, oh, bless me. Bless me. This appears to be the only way up. Keep an eye out for those rock climber wall hooks. They might be useful. Yeah, how about that? Alright, here we are. And there's loot here, man. Turn on a job, come back later for the loot. Oh, 
No, let me get it. I'm right there. Dang it, Bentley. Oh, well. All right, let's hear what Bentley's got to say. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. <coughs> All right, Bentley. Sounds good, dude. Oof. Look at the time. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go, and I will see you all in the next episode, and we're going to do exactly what Bentley said we're going to do. And I will see you all then. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.